All right, kids, welcome back to the shop. We're back on the rotary table project. So today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, machine this down so we have a flat surface. I'm going to uh, drill a hole in it, thread this onto the Morse taper, and then machine the other side. Then we will cut or drill holes in here in the appropriate place so we could bolt this down to the T-slots. So let's head over to the mill and, and get this machine down. All right, guys, I got it set up in the mill and the vise. Um, I just did a light touch off on this corner. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a light cut. I'm just taking light cuts. I want to make the plate flat as possible. Okay, there we have it. Um, what you're seeing is where the you know the tooling marks. You really can't feel these ridges. So now let's um, mark our center, drill it, tap it for our Morse taper. That's going to go in there. Okay, let's get this thing marked up. I find the center of the fixture plate by using a straight edge and going corner to corner. Center punch it and off to the mill. I'm using a 5 16 drill bit. Next we tap the hole using a 3 8 tap, 16 threads per inch. Fits good. It's a nice tight fit. Let's see how it fits in the uh, rotary table here. Fits nice and tight. After a couple tippy taps with the hammer. All right, I have this um, sitting on the rotary table. Remember, this Morse taper is only for alignment purposes. Okay, that's what that's for. Um, I'm using the T-nuts that go in the slot on the table, which I'll have to show you, but I have this set up. I don't want to mess with it. And these will be countersunk. Okay, so they'll be out of the way. Um, there'll be four of them. And this is what's going to hold the table, the fixture plate, to the rotary table. This is just an alignment tool. That this will be cut off. Um, and what I did was I have the table set at zero. Um, again, I don't want to mess with this too much. And then I just took my square and I put it against the back of the fixture plate. This doesn't have to be perfect. This actually doesn't have to be done at all. I just this could be oriented any way it does not matter um, but I just want it to be when it's zero I want this to be perpendicular or parallel however you want to say it so what we got to do now is we need to go to the mill and drill our holes for the bolts and countersink them All right, we're gonna line this up. There's a uh, a hole in the top of that from the center of the um, the lathe. Um, this should be close enough. Um, also, I could have put it in a collet. Um, all right, first off, 
All right, so I'm going to come out from center two inches. I spot drill it. I drill the hole. Then I countersink the hole. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. I bet you got whack. Something moved. see that coming another who didn't see that coming all right guys I don't understand what happened here I have this in the center and I came over two inches to here this was still lined up the way it, it was supposed to be right here um, when I drilled this it is not centered in the t-slot so you, I think you saw when in order to clamp it down it has to be skewed like that um, I don't understand what could have happened uh, I know this isn't perfect but it's not out that bad and I didn't check it but it's the center of the rotary table when you think that this would be a 90 degree from here to here you know I just figured that this was in the center of the slots I don't know what happened. Let's go back to the bench and maybe we can cipher it. Again, it's not a big deal. It just, for me, that looks ridiculous. And I guess in some ways it is a big deal because I got to come over to here next. Yeah, and you can see right where I drilled into the um, the table. Actually, looking at it now, you can see that it's not aligned. That's right on zero, <laughs> and I didn't even, I didn't even check it. I didn't think I had to check it. I mean, looking at it now, it's as plain as day. You gotta be kidding me. What kind of hokiness is this? I guess it didn't matter to them when they were making it. <laughs> Who didn't see that coming? Oh boy. All right, let's recap what happened. As we could see, this isn't lined up anymore. All right, let's, let's remove this and I'll explain what happened so as I was explaining let's see here we are on zero hopefully you guys can see that when I had the plate on here I had it on zero and I just assumed that the slots were lined up perpendicular to this plate and this is the mounting surface here so I just figured it was perpendicular. So when I set it up in the in the mill, you saw I just put it on like this. And remember I had this lined up. Got my center here, came over two inches, drilled the hole, not knowing that the hole was here. That this is off of center, we're going to call that, or 90 or 0 by 5 degrees. So obviously I didn't realize that. Now, as I said before, it's not a deal breaker. It'll just be something that drives me bananas. It doesn't have to be parallel or perpendicular, however you want to say it. All right, guys, I'm back at the mill, uh, and I discovered something that I kind of knew and I kind of didn't after playing with this, is 
this is off from 90 by 5 degrees. So when I came over to the mill and I had it at zero, right? And see how off it is? Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. And now if I take the table and I go five degrees this way, right there, let's lock it. I'm gonna say that's spot on. It's close enough. So what we have to do is, uh, so I'm guessing if I go around, I have to go 95 degrees. But I'll still line up the, the slot, so. So we're getting there. And if you look here at 95, we're, we're not bad. So I'm out of two inches. I have the uh, DRO set. I got everything locked. So let's, let's rotate this. I know you guys can't see it. Maybe you can. All right, so there's 90, and that's off by five degrees. So that's 95. And man, that looks good. That was centered perfect. Alright, that's good. Okay. Just do the same thing for the other three. I'm not gonna film it. Alright, let's see if we can get these T nuts in here. I attach the plate using the bolts and the T-nuts. Everything lines up good. Alright, this looks good. This video is getting long, so I'm going to cut it short here. In the next video, I'm going to machine the top surface and drill holes for the strap clamps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.